Thank you very much. Welcome. My name's Ed Hedger. I lead the Centre for Aid and Public Expenditure here at ODI. I'm your chair for today. And I'm delighted to be chairing a panel introducing and launching latest ODI report, which I hope you've all seen copies of. Unblocking results, using aid to address governance constraints in public service delivery. This is the output, I'm just the microphone. This is the output of a major research program that we've been running here across the aid and public expenditure team and the budget strengthening initiative for fragile states over the course of the last 12, 18 months, which has been examining afresh the nexus of issues around aid modalities, service delivery, and governance, uh, particularly public sector governance challenges in developing countries. I have um, a panel today which will be um, comprising one of the authors, Heidi Tabakoli, who was the lead researcher for the study, who is joined in the audience by colleagues Rebecca Simpson, Helen Tilly and David Booth, who were her collaborators for this research study, all, all, um, all here and all welcome from ODI. And three, two or three, I hope three, um, distinguished speakers um, here to help us navigate through the content. So after hearing a presentation from Heidi, we will be joined um, by, first of all, Rinus van Klinken, who is Acting Country Director for SNV in Tanzania, and um, one of the cases covered by the research was, a, um, was an initiative by SNV in Tanzania, so we'll hear more his perspective from someone implementing that. Hopefully afterwards by Emmanuel Swankambo, who is a consultant and advisor with the Budget Strengthening Initiative, working on service delivery frameworks in, um, and reform in Uganda and in um, South Sudan. And he, if he joins us, will be able to give us a perspective on this from particularly the Ugandan experience. And thirdly, by Sue Unsworth, who is a principal of um, policy practice and also a, a member of the ODI Council and a, a long-standing friend of ODI, who has been engaged in issues of governance and public sector reform for many years, formerly with DFID, and will be able to situate this study and the findings and the evidence in some of the wider literature and some of the wider studies and offer us a few perspectives as a discussant. So without further ado, I'll hand over to Heidi, who I think will... An opening presentation. 